Tomorrow marks one year since the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland says finding and prosecuting the people who carried it out is at the top of the Department of Justice's priorities. CBS 4's Skylar Henry has details from Capitol Hill. Attorney General Mayor Garland says the government will find and prosecute anyone involved in last year's attack on the U.S. Capitol. Those involved must be held accountable. And there is no higher priority for us at the Department of Justice. To date, the FBI has arrested more than 700 people, and they're still looking for 350 others who they call violent criminals. Those who assaulted officers or damaged the Capitol face greater charges. Those who conspired with others to obstruct the vote count also face greater charges. The divisions that led to the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol continue to persist today, with many Americans still believing that the 2020 presidential election was stolen. Those claims, which have corroded people's faith in the legitimacy of our elections, have been repeatedly refuted by the law enforcement and intelligence agencies of both the last administration and this one. A CBS News poll shows 66% of Republicans believe there was widespread fraud in the 2020 election. You know, I was concerned about voter integrity. I think all of us need to be concerned about that. Now, whether there was uh, uh, any problems with that, I just wanted people to look into it because we know there's going to be more elections. Attorney General Garland said the Department of Justice will continue to fight for the right for every eligible citizen to cast a vote that counts. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Former President Trump had planned to mark the one-year anniversary tomorrow with a press conference at Mar-a-Lago, but he has since canceled it. Instead, congressional members Matt Gates and Marjorie Taylor Greene, both big Trump supporters, will speak on Capitol Hill tomorrow. President Biden will deliver his own speech, refuting claims of election fraud and pinning the blame for the attack on President Trump.